And so, for example, um, do you know a guy named Dr. Mike? I don't believe so, no. Okay, he, he's like got 13 million subscribers on YouTube, but okay. we just did a vaccine debate with him on Saturday. Okay. Um, it was on Jubilee, so we were doing like a debate and- He wasn't saying if women can handle pressure. Of course, things. of course. Um, so firstly, just because I walked in when you were already starting your discussion. Okay. Um, what is your background as far as either your educational or just practical background? Pretty much no education in terms of like okay. for, formal education. Mm -hmm. um, I study a lot. I read a lot. Um, I, I debate professionally. So mm -hmm. I, I debate these kind of topics with some of the best debaters there are. Okay. So that's like I study a lot for those debates and that's yeah. my background. That yeah. makes sense. Uh -huh. totally. um, so personally, I just heard you say a lot of different things. You probably also told me, yeah, yeah. maybe not control my emotions as well. Um, you said that women couldn't handle pressure very well. So I am studying science okay. here at UCLA, and I'm studying environmental science specifically, but within that I had to study a lot of general science, including a lot of bio. I've taken um, the majority of the same prereqs that all the pre-med students have, okay. so I feel pretty confident in my background in science. Okay. Why would you say that women can't handle pressure the same way that men can? I, I would do it not from a like a, a study perspective. So mm -hmm. where we have studies that substantiate this, yeah. I would just do it empirically. So if you guys don't know what's going on, he's a conservative debater and he's debating a biologist at a college institution off of the premise that he said, and I quote, women can't handle pressure. Um, I'm not going to lie. I disagree with that statement off of its initial point. I think... I think women have handled pressure before. I don't think pressure is gender specific necessarily, but uh, let's see how he explains it. From what we've ob generally observed in reality. But you can't do that. You, you can't observe empirically? It's not the same thing in the sense that you can't draw a conclusion from it, unfortunately. You can draw a conclusion from a, from a, a study because you have certain controls and parameters in it that allow you to eliminate biases um, subconscious things, that sort of thing. That's why you have different types of trials and studies versus you can't say, oh, I see the women in my life behaving yeah. um, poorly under pressure and thus women behave poorly under pressure in comparison to the men in my life. You can't draw that conclusion right. because you're not factoring in that there are a lot of women and a lot of women behave differently and as do a lot of men. But would you say generally, these are general like realities? I would say no, I strongly, just strongly disagree. So you would think that women can handle pressure better than men? I would say the exact same, and depending on each person, uh, okay. perhaps better, yes. And then you would appeal to a study or some sort of science, like bi biology, yes, that, would, that would reflect that? Yes, sir. Okay, and so, for example, um, do you know a guy named Dr. Mike? I don't believe so, no. Okay, he, he's like got 13 million subscribers on YouTube, but okay. we just did a vaccine debate with him on Saturday. Okay. Um, it was on Jubilee, so we were doing like a debate, and one of the issues that we ran into was he... So that's what he was saying. He, was, he wasn't saying if women can handle pressure. He was saying, can women handle pressure relative to men? That kind of, that question makes more sense to me. I thought the initial question was, can women handle pressure? I'm like, yes, women can handle pressure. A child can handle pressure. But he's saying, do women handle pressure better than men? Statistically speaking, men tend to handle high stake situations better than women. And men have more, or men, I'm not going to say have more ability. Men are more prone to taking more risk than women, statistically. Um, that's just what it is. But that doesn't also mean women can't handle pressure. It goes into a debate when you're saying, can they handle pressure better than men? If you're comparing them to men, they just handle things differently. Women and men are, are different. But if you're saying, can they handle pressure in general? Yes. And you can ask any woman that. Yes, women handle pressure all the time. If you compare them to men, this is a different discussion. But yes, women can handle pressure. He has all the science, mm -hmm. but everyone that was debating him had different uh, scientific studies. Mm -hmm. So my question That's is, true. if we're appealing to scientific studies, and he even admitted that a lot of it is subjective, meaning it's, it's subject to change. Yeah. So you can look at a study right now. It's provisional truth, meaning that it can change tomorrow. Totally. Right? So first off, that would be a subjective uh, subjective stance that we all take according to the, the specific data that we have in the moment. Okay. But also... Whatever studies you can find, there can always be antithetical studies to support an opposite claim. Would you agree? I would say yes, but I would say antithetical studies, um, by definition of the word anecdotal, are thus not. Studies. I, I and I, I would agree generally. You couldn't say that. I wouldn't. But, I would. But at the same time, that. but at the same time, there's specific categories that are immaterial, like uh, aspects 
that we can't fully sure, quantify. And, and pressure could be one of those that you're, you're talking right. about. We're or not even if we did a blood level, we're not talking right. about that sort of thing. Right. We're talking about an emotion. Right, understand. right. And this is why it's difficult because if, if um, like, if you did a poll between Trump and Biden, and you asked uh, who's more courageous, mm -hmm. it's going to be very hard to do like a, a study on. Yeah, because so, it depends on what you mean as courageous. Some people would take very different things. Or yeah, and then how do you measure that? How do you measure like which one is more courageous than not? Yeah, you definitely. know. So that's I where that's, that's the kind of position that I would take on something like this, where I'm okay with accepting. Okay, even if I'm I'm okay, like if you have a study that would show that women are better under pressure, but then mm -hmm. I would question what what is the study like? Who funded it? Is it biased? What was the the, the method? Mm -hmm. What was the time frame? What was the the situation? Yeah, as someone who studies a lot of science, I would agree that's a very important thing to right. do. If you're not looking at who's funding a study, it means nothing to me. Yeah, um, yeah. So I would agree, and I personally can't pull any off the top of Which my head fine. just because yeah. you know I'm standing here. It wasn't like this is what I was doing. No, yeah, and ago. and this is why I'll grant like uh, anyone that I debate, I'll grant them a lot of like wiggle room. Like I'll grant that I'm yeah, wrong on, sure, yeah. or maybe I can't conclude something absolutely. Um, but typically we can like just using reasoning, um, we can just kind of de deduce for the time okay. being something so, like that. I'm coming from my own personal experiences as well because again if we're going back right, right. to yeah. let's kind of ignore the whole study portion it just talking about pressure yeah so I'm someone who does a lot of very high pressure things I'm an extreme athlete and so oh, um, awesome. I've spent a lot of time in the mountains and extreme things okay it's a very male dominated sport and industry in general um, and I've done things at a much younger age than almost any men have ever done okay um, and so I think that's partly why I would disagree yeah. with you as far as um, talking about handling pressure I've been in situations where I could very easily die and I know so many people who bailed out of all those situations um, almost all of them who were men because mm -hmm. or not almost all of them were men, but I saw so many men bail out because they couldn't handle the pressure of what that situation was mm. versus I can so I think it's very frustrating when I hear you say something like yeah. women in general can't handle pressure as well because from my personal experience I would say that's wrong I have visibly seen myself handle significantly more pressure than men two or three times my mm -hmm. age and that's not to say that I'm so much better than them, but it does show that show that the, that's not necessarily a true conclusion. And I don't think it's a it's a it's a productive narrative to be proclaiming. Would you say? Because if you're telling women, let's say I don't know if you have a daughter, but let's say you do or a sister, whoever, and you say you're not as good at handling pressure. Because at the end of the day, that is what you're saying. Whether yeah, yeah. Pleasure, you want to communicate. Right, right. I agree. You're saying you as a woman are not as good to handle pressure. Mm. You are now perpetuating your narrative whether or not it's true because right. then they we can't say if it is right mm -hmm. for all i know maybe men are better mm -hmm. and that's just coming from my personal bias mm -hmm. but you can't say that because you're now infiltrating in her mind because you're now placing that seed yeah and the same sense of for many years and i heard you talking this with the other gentleman that i was standing here um talking about in the past um women did they really want to vote is that being forced upon them those sorts of things but at the same time i feel like you're maybe not accounting for the fact that men historically especially and women as well have sort of been told that so repetitively then how can you break that cycle and prove differently for instance yeah. i'm really into running and i'm trying to get into ultra running okay ultra running is a really cool sport yeah. it's a new sport um and one of the things that's been very fascinating when it comes to ultra running is and as you were talking about earlier gen generally and especially biologically speaking men are so now that he's you know this debate has gone over he was comparing them at first, I thought he was just saying women can't handle pressure. Women are human. Women obviously can handle pressure. There are women who've handled more pressure than a lot of men. But he's he's definitely comparing women to men in this regard. Um, I don't know any, you know, information on that regarding... <sighs> I'm tired. Who handles the pressure better? <laughs> that would be that would be social media or or scientists or researchers who handles it better. I would say on average, men just tend to deal with more real world pressure when it comes to I guess the standards that I at least view on that a man should carry, such as you're having a family. You're usually the leader of your family if you're a man. That tends to naturally just be more pressure being the leader. Um fights wars men fighting wars that just is naturally more pressure having to risk your life for something um but that doesn't negate the fact that women still deal with pressure um i do want to know how he's going to respond to this regarding um why he's doing this debate and what he's trying to get out of this it's going to be interesting better than women in sports correct mm -hmm. 
in the sense of like you're saying, if you're with you know you have the strongest man, strongest woman competition, it's not gonna be a very fair competition. Right. The man is going to win because biologically speaking, testosterone is a powerful thing. Or even volleyball like uh, Serena Williams exactly. and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, even same thing. Yeah, I've seen those things the, too. The where interview, it's like right? Top blank man versus would destroy her. Yeah. Where she said, yeah, yeah. And that's it, and those are the kind of things. At the end of the day, it's very easy to test. You put the two against a match. Uh -huh. You do that ten times. You can get some pretty good data right. in there. Um, arguably. Wait, real quick, before yes. you go, because uh, I want to touch on a point, and then you can finish. Sure. Um, did you have a great, like, do you have a great dad, a great strong dad? A great strong dad? Yeah. Um, I would say that I had two very present parents. I yeah, would yeah. say they both made a lot of mistakes, but a lot of good things. But I would say I had a strong dad, yes. Because maybe your dad, do you, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe your dad, like, kind of influenced you to be, like, very, the way you are. I believe you that you're very good at sports. I would, I would very good say, at yeah. Because okay. my, my dad never, my dad never was like, you can't do this because you're a woman. I would agree right, that right. he was very encouraging. And I think that's, if we change our mindsets, me and you no, and no. all their men as well. I think we can encourage women um, to do a lot more. But kind of going back to what I was talking about, about ultra running, um, and the reason I think it's a very specific and interesting example to bring up mm -hmm. is ultra running, you can have races that are up to multiple hundreds of miles. That's yeah. the incredible thing about the sport. And the thing that's been very interesting in the past couple of years is sports, again, has been a very kind of binary thing in the sense of one's better than the other. Mm -hmm. You don't really have co-ed sport competitions, especially at the most elite levels, because it simply wouldn't play out well. Mm -hmm. Contrarily to you know that kind of historical opinion and you know how sports have kind of worked out and um, there have been multiple women now that have come out and won overall events at distances of over 200 miles yeah and things like that is very interesting like Courtney DeWalter and them Courtney DeWalter yeah. is exactly uh -huh. who I'm referring to yeah, yeah. and you know she's, she's a beast she's a total beast mm -hmm. and there's a lot of arguments you could put out there since the sport's too new you just don't have all the ultra elite athletes coming in yet all that sort of thing but at the end of the day it's a top sport. It's mm -hmm. an incredibly difficult thing. It comes down to more than the physicality of it, because at the end of the day, when you get to that sort of mileage and that level, no matter how strong you are, it doesn't really matter. It comes down to very much a mind game. Mm -hmm. And I would say that that's directly correlated to how you can handle pressure. Yeah. So how would you, in considering... With my, you, my female people that are yeah, around? So how yeah, so how would you... But how would you kind of equate that to your argument in the sense yes. of women can't handle pressure as well as men, uh -huh. and yet in one of the only sports that is pretty much a mental over physical battle, uh -huh. at the end of the day when you push into these more extreme levels, mm -hmm. how would you say that that is not proof that perhaps the narrative of shifting, and because the narrative is shifting, that women do have this sort of like power to go out and do things and to try and to compete. Mm -hmm. um, as someone who, you know, aspires to be the next Courtney DeWalter and okay. wants to kind of go out there and beat the men, not in a, you know, fuck men, I hate men kind of right. thing, but purely in a sense Com of... Competitive. Exactly, in a yeah. competitive way and to see what humans can do. It's kind of fun to see yeah. that that is now the possibilities. I can test what humans can do. I'm not testing yeah. what women can do. Right. I'm seeing what humans can do. So how would you kind of, you know... No, thank that. you what for sharing you, that. How would you yeah. kind of... Thank you for sharing that. I'll just be fully like transparent with, with how sure. I would go about this and this is a realistic view. I have three sisters and I have many women that are important in my life, right? And so with my sisters, I would tell them the same thing that I would tell when I have a daughter. I have a son, but I would when I have daughters, and I do want to have daughters, I would tell them that I would love for you to play sports. I would love for you to run. I would love for you to play volleyball, basketball. I would love for you to be this and be the best at it. Mm -hmm. So I would encourage them to have a strong, great mind. Awesome. But that would also come from a strong dad, like a strong dad that he helped you he developed you. He gave you the That's mindset, true. maybe. Right. Yeah. So you would probably think your dad and be grateful for him. That comes would, from strong. That would come from strong men. Strong men laying the foundation for them. Where I'm gonna tell them the reality that if if there's a school shooting, I don't want you getting in front of that bullet. Whereas if it's a son, I'm gonna tell him, like if you have to, I'd rather have you protect the lives of those around you, than just like go and cower. So out of quick curiosity, why would a why would a bullet care if it's a man or a woman? Uh, it wouldn't. Oh, so so but, if your son is six years old and your daughter is six years old, and you would tell your six-year-old son to step in front of that bullet, but you wouldn't do it to your daughter because she has a vagina. It's not about a vagina. I think but it's it is. A, no. I think and it, the sentence that you just said. No. Okay, she's getting this conversation has turned at this moment. <laughs> They're both getting irritable, or she's getting irritable when he brought up the the whole school thing. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that statement. Um, I think the heart of what he was trying to say was that he's raising his son to be strong as a non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable for his son to be strong, to show strength, and not to show cowardice or weakness. But However, it's not a non-negotiable for his daughter. I think that was the heart of what he's saying. The example, however, is probably where he 
it, it went wrong, but let's continue. No, no, I'll, I'll explain. Get yeah. a little heated there, so, but... It's fine, yeah. People get emotional good. with these topics. I, I, I don't get emotional, but... Oh, you uh, don't get emotional? Not really. Oh, that's nice. I unfortunately yeah. do have emotions. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's Which is a good. tough it's, one, it's, yeah. It, would you say, like, it's a feminine trait? Emotions? No, yeah. unfortunately. No, not emotions. Well, you just, well... No, I wouldn't say so. I would okay. just say that you would say you would sacrifice your son, but not your daughter. No, See, that's in the, I would never want him to be in those situations, and I would never want that to be the case. I'm saying that socially, I think women are so protected and glorified, which is a good thing. They should be protected by other men. Really? Because I don't always feel particularly protected as a woman. By other men, right? Do I feel protected? No, by I'm other saying men? you're saying you don't usually feel protected uh, by the people around you. In general, I don't always feel protected about those that I am around. Yes, both R men and women. Right, and so I, yeah, I wouldn't say that that's necessary. But wouldn't you also say that men today are substantially weaker than ever before? No, not at all. You As think someone who's very in, in, involved in athletics, I mean, every single day you're seeing new records being broken. I mean, you're seeing yes. the craziest of things, and I think that is 100% correlated no. with strength. You're saying, but you're equating as a whole. I'm saying strength as also okay, a whole, mental, so, physical. And then we have to we have to uh, differentiate the categories. Okay. So you're talking about physical abilities, which we can talk about. But I'm also talking when I talk about weaker men or stronger men. I'm talking about virtues, that that which you cannot see: oh, honor, really integrity, respect, uh, masculine masculine traits, being confident. Do you think that men? Uh, lack that nowadays. No, not at all. Okay, and so I this would is say the opposite. I would say a lot of men I have seen become more confident in their masculinity, but in a much less toxic way. In the sense of they don't feel like their masculinity means that they need they can to... rule over people or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not a dominating thing. It's part of them, and it's something they love. I love my femininity. I love being a good, woman, good. and I feel like that's something that I'm really proud of being. And I feel like I would want to encourage that in men too. In the sense of if you love being a man, that's great. You should be proud of that. You should be proud of your masculinity. And that's something you should be secure in as long as you're not mad that you know there's a guy wearing a skirt because at the end of the day that doesn't affect your life yeah, yeah. let me know what you guys think about this debate in the comments below my name is lfr jojo i'm going to end this one right here peace <laughs>